Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well and uh, yeah, today we're going to do a little bit of an update into the stock market as it continues to dip on Monday. Um, I hope you don't mind me doing these videos, um, I just think they're quite good to kind of, you know, keep in touch and uh, hopefully, I'm not going to do too much on this video of, you know, buy the dip, everything's going to be okay, you know, I've done that plenty of times, so hopefully the mindset is a lot better than maybe two weeks ago um, and hopefully you guys have got the confidence to go buy the dip and uh, appreciate the opportunities and uh, if it goes lower you know don't be scared the, the more it goes lower the more money you'll probably make in the long term if you're a long-term investor um so yeah i'm not going to focus on that too much today so sorry about that if you were looking at that kind of video but i just thought it was really good to keep in touch of like um opportunities and things that i'm doing in the stock market and um yeah while we're on this a little bit of dip hopefully maybe these up-to-date videos um, help you a little bit anyway um, but yeah we'll go through uh, some of the stuff that I noticed with Monday and then some of the things that are going on further down the line this week now I'm going to say this uh, before any of that um, recently on the channel um, the amount of spammers that is coming on the channel is unbelievable um, I am I cannot keep up with how many spammers are coming on whether that is buy crypto um, contact me on this whatsapp or even channels using my um, picture and my name to post and reply to some of you guys um, just be really careful because literally it's a bit like a horror movie at the moment because I'm literally deleting one comment I leave it for maybe an hour or two and I come back and there's five there like honestly they're just the more you delete one of them there's even more that come back and it's very hard to keep on top of I am trying to keep on top of it if you guys see anything like that please report it especially the ones that try and impersonate me you know just be really careful of that you know my name should be coming like a little bit of a grey box thing um, if, if it is me um, but yeah just be just be really careful of that because it is getting worse and YouTube as well I mean then all their staff for spammers must be on furlough still or something because they, they're not dealing with it's getting worse so uh yeah i don't know what's going on there so yeah i mean if you could just be really careful of the amount of spammers that are out in the comment section um because it is very hard to keep on top of i'm trying but if you guys can try the best as well to report any that'd be amazing as well uh but yeah <laughs> just a little bit of negative there uh, but we'll go through some of the stock market stuff uh, and before we do that you know if you do want to join my private stock market group there's a link to patreon always post when I'm buying and selling on there and also there's some private live streams, portfolio reviews, uh, there's a lot of content on there, a discord so yeah if you want to join that link's in the description as well but anyway let's get back onto the stock market dip that's been going on uh, at the moment. So um, let me, I'm using a, a screen recording again, um, <laughs> so uh, let me just go through here so at the moment the pre-market is set to be green, uh, the Dow up 0.6, S&P up 1%, uh, uh, Nasdaq futures uh, they're currently up two percent um, so the Nasdaq looks like it's going to put a bit of a recovery and we'll see what exactly happens we know we've seen this um, so much at the moment that it tries to put in a bit of a recovery um, and if we go on to yesterday as you can see here you know the, the futures go negative it tries to put in that little bit of recovery and then bang it would just sell off as the day goes on so we'll see what happens if that pattern repeats it's the pattern that we've had for pretty much the kind of last three weeks I guess now this pattern of opening up green try and recover and then slump down so yeah about an hour into trading that normally happens so we'll see if we get a repeat today now yesterday there was a lot uh, a bit of a sell-off we did go down quite a bit once again personally I did not buy because we were pretty much near where we were at on Thursday Um, so I don't like say on a dip it's great that I think one thing that everyone's learned is that cash is really important to take advantage of these opportunities if they do happen um, you know that's that's something that is really key uh, and I think few people realize how important it is to still have a bit of cash on the side and if you are um, or have been listening over the last kind of few months and you have been building up a bit of cash pal uh, uh, like me you know I, I mean I must have said on the channel so many times you know um, I've, I've been at 30% cash for like a good three four months um, I don't want to go too crazy into the stock market in case we do go 5% lower 10% lower if we flatline for six months, you know, I want to make sure I've still got a chance to buy it. opportunities in dips. Um, and yeah, because we didn't have too much of a dip, I was tempted in the last kind of um, this little bit here, this kind of last last hour-ish. I was tempted to pick up a few things, uh, but I didn't. Uh, but it was getting quite tempting at that point. But I just thought, you know what, let's just save the cash for another day. See what happens today. And if today we get a bit more of a reversal, the stock market goes down. Then I'll definitely look at buying a couple of things. It was interesting though because the Dow was actually um, positive on the day. 
you know, uh, just shows some of the rotation out of tech into more value stocks, more recovery stocks, uh, which was really interesting. And one of the ones that really did stand out to me is a company that I own, which is Disney. Uh, and Disney actually um, had a very good day, <laughs> up 6%, um, which was really good. So uh, for me, my average on Disney is actually $100. So um, Disney actually yesterday joined uh, the 100% return club for me, which is really good. So um, that was a really good day on Disney. And it just kind of reminded me actually, funny enough, I actually made, um, I wonder if I can show you guys about playing it. I actually made a video um, about a year ago saying that uh, why Disney will go to $200. So uh, yeah, um, it was good to um, see that come true. Uh, but I've made a few of them before. Um, Let's see if we can spot them all. So the newest one is there, the uh, Facebook going to $400. Um, here to $40, that's kind of close, I think. Um, what did Huya get to? It got to $36. So I was so that was nearly there. I'm sure it will get there sometime soon. But we nearly got there. Um, yeah, and then I had to update that Facebook one because Facebook got to $300. Why are they we're going to get to $300? And that got there. So the only one outstanding at the moment, really, uh, well, I guess Facebook, but that's kind of only um, a couple of months old. But um, yeah, you, yeah, and that was close as well. So uh, yeah, it was another one to tick off the box of like predicting where stocks are going to go uh, in the long term and getting that one right, which was really good. Um, so that was a good mover in my portfolio, uh, which was really good. But yeah, um, obviously we saw the rotation, the tech following the same pattern as well. Um, just on some individual stocks point of view, um, Genog, I've had a lot of questions about this. I feel like this could be a stock where I do a updated video maybe um, and maybe uh, show, show you guys through uh, why I really like this company. Um, it, it seemed like this company was a targeted company for uh, Reddit, for Wall Street Bets. It seemed like they were going to be kind of promoting it. It was up quite a bit on pre-market. It did drop in the end uh, but I think at $13, this is a good company. and um, This is one that I am really focusing on buying. Um, so yeah, I think if you guys might want a full video on that, we'll, we'll see, but that was an interesting move. But yeah, I think this one is one of the standout ones at the moment. I don't know if any of you guys get the uh, ARK um, newsletter at the end of the day with what they're all buying, but that, I always find that's really interesting on red days. Um, this one, I've had a few questions about this one starting to come in now, skills. I think on Wednesday we've got Tattoo Chef earnings and skills earnings, so I probably will end up doing a video covering one of them, maybe even both of them, we'll see what happens in earnings, but man, like a 10% dip um, on skills, um, absolutely crazy, so uh, this this jump here was always way too much, way too quick, this is when valuations just went out of the window and it was just kind of crazy, um, but yeah, obviously, you, you know, when a stock loses 44% 40, 40, of its value, that's definitely a lot. Um, and we've got earnings, so we'll see what happens with earnings. Um, normally, with earnings, if it does sell off into earnings, that gives it a bit of potential to maybe have a jump. You know, the worst thing for earnings is that a company goes up so much before earnings, and it's like so much expectation in there. So we'll see. I mean, earnings are just 50 50 shots, but I think it's a positive for earnings, I guess, going in not on hype, um, I guess. But yeah, I've had a lot of questions about this one. Personally, if I was not involved in skills, this would be now a time for me to be buying. Personally, for me, uh, with skills, I've got an average, I believe, of $17. Um, but if this company gets around about the $20 mark, that is probably where you'll actually see me start buying. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what happens. $20 um, would be where I start adding into my skills position. So, um, yeah, I mean, even uh, maybe a little bit higher than that, but it needs to come down a little bit for me. Um, I think when it gets below an 8 billion market cap, that is where I do start to get interested in skills uh, and buying more. But if I wasn't involved, I would definitely consider it on this level of a dip. But it's one that I'm watching really close. And, you know, if something happens in earnings um, and the stock market doesn't like it, that might be the last little push to get it a little bit lower. So um, that's another one. Uh, one of the interesting stocks I've started picking up at the moment, which is Tesla. Um, Tesla down 5% again. Um, it has it is having a bit of a strong pre-market, but yeah, 563. I mean, if this gets to $400, that's interesting. Uh, but obviously, yeah, it's another one that's had a, a massive drop, 36%. And yeah, I think if it does get to uh, $400, that, that is 
that is really really interesting stuff and uh, that is definitely a territory where I, I will definitely start buying this one really heavy um, so that's one I'm watching really close as well um, and uh, this one Shopify um, I think th these prices are so good for Shopify 27 dip like it didn't even drop that much when we had the CV so uh, a 20 you know when you look at this chart here you can see that it doesn't really have that many drops um so this is one i'm watching very close because this is this is a uh, top three position for me it already is i think in my top three biggest positions but this is a company that i will focus on buying really heavy as long as the more it keeps dipping especially if it drops below a thousand dollars that's that'll be crazy for me and uh, the next one all i see uh coming out for this one is positive news um I have no idea why the stock chart is not popping up for this one. This is what happens when you use Google charts. <laughs> right, we'll just use um, Yahoo Finance charts. So uh, yeah, DraftKings for me, um, once again, this is top three positions. Um, love this company. It, it is chopping around a bit. But yeah, I do. I think this company is really good. Um, this is one that I am focused on picking up as well. I've noticed um, Ark Invest as well. They are picking up this one quite heavy at the moment, which is good. And this kind of leads me with the last two. So I've had a lot of questions about these guys, Turtle Beach. Um, I think that the, this drop is really attractive. For me, my average is about $18. I would like to pick this up probably um, a little bit lower than where it is right now, if I can. Um, like it's $21, $20, $19. I think that would be where I would be willing to add into my position. So it's not too far off, you know, if it were to have a little bit of a, um, little bit more of a drop. Uh, you know, if the NASDAQ was to go down a little bit, a couple more percent, I think we could get there. So that could be when I start buying this one because I would like to buy a few more shares in this one. And I feel like this one is another one where you guys want a full video updated on this one. But yeah, Corsair, I think at this valuation is very attractive as well. Um, and yeah, this one, $31, $30, below $30. This is for me is where I do start buying this one. So we'll see what happens. Um, not bought any at the moment, but it's, that's another one that I am kind of focusing on. Um, and I, I'd say maybe an honor, honorable mention to Square, another one that I am considering. But yeah, overall, though, that's kind of like what I'm looking at uh, buying wise and some of the stuff that's going on with the market and uh I hope you find it a little bit useful just doing a couple of these updates. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you could, smash the like button. If you are new, subscribe as well. Um, let's try to get to 300 likes. That would be absolutely amazing. Uh, and I'll see you on the next video.